Well, with a good time and a couple of bottles of Bonobo under our belts, we rebust, got back on the road, and headed to yet another wonderful Michigan winery. And in mere moments, there it was, Bry's Estate Vineyard and Winery. This supremely pleasant place is a must stop if you love great wine, sweet and savory snacks, and vibrant vistas. It just might be the complete Old Mission Peninsula wine experience. So with my fellow pupils pouring more of Michigan's finest fermentables, I got together with Patrick Bryce to find out more about his award-winning wines. So how did Bryce become Bryce? When you were a little kid, did you lay in bed at night dreaming of someday owning a winery? You know, the story of Bryce Estate actually started in 1968 on a blind date in Detroit. With your folks? And that was the year my parents met. So from what I've heard, long story short, they start the winery, they get it going, and then they decide, we're gonna retire. Hello, Patrick, <laughs> are well, you doing anything? <laughs> it started, as I said, um, as a retirement project for them, yeah. quote unquote. They thought they'd open this small little tasting room and then pour wine for a couple people every day. <laughs> and it was sort of gonna be, uh, you know, uh, just something fun for them to do as they got into their older years. And it soon turned out that people really liked the wine that was being made. And so uh, one day I got a call uh, and they're like, you've got to get up here and help us. We are, this is, this is beyond what we ever signed oh, up. Oh, you're grounded, little mister. <laughs> yes. You get up here right now. So um, came up here in the summer of 2009 and never looked back. The grounds here are amazing. The tasting room, amazing. The deck, the view is absolutely spectacular. The deck was created because uh, when, when I first started actually at the winery, we had no outside service. And what we realized uh, very soon after starting was that people are coming here for wine, but they're also coming here for an experience. They wanna be in the vineyards, they wanna experience the beauty of agriculture. And so, I said, let's open a patio off of our tasting room. So we opened up a little brick patio. It had about five tables. Well, as soon as the vines grew up, we found that everyone was standing on top of their tables with their cameras going like this. <sighs> and so we said, what are they doing? We got a ladder out one day and I stood up on the ladder and this is what I saw. And so we started with that section of the deck um, and built it six feet up. So everyone had this beautiful view of the vineyards and obviously the East Grand Traverse Bay in the distance and it became so popular then we added another section and now hopefully we'll get to have a third section in the next few years. That's what I love about wine as a hobby it's it's geology geography it's history it makes you happy and you know Michigan wines are unique they're different they're grown in cooler climate they're grown in glacial soils uh, that have a lot of sand and so there's a terroir here they call it which is the, you know that's that's wine. Uh, and there's no really, there's of, not an English word to really right, translate that. Right, but it's, it's kind of like what all comes together to create that glass that you're having. And so Michigan's going to have its own unique stamp on the wine industry. Um, California obviously does a great job. You know, France and Italy and all that do do great jobs. But no matter where, that's I think one of the beauties, uh, the most beautiful things about wine is that no matter where you have it, from no matter where it is in the world you're experiencing a taste of that place. You're tasting that the, year, the soil, the weather. The growing season, everything. And even the philosophy of, the, of the, the, the winery, of the winemaker. And so it's truly one of the most unique beverages known to man. Yeah. You don't think maybe I could help make some of your wine? You like Pinot Noir, don't you? Love Pinot Noir. Okay, well, I think we could use a little hand with something in the back, if you don't mind. I'm your guy. Let's do it. Okay. So Patrick, this is a big vat of Pinot Noir grapes and they're sitting on the juice? Yeah, so this Pinot Noir is was just harvested right. and it's going through the fermentation process right now. So why do we do this with red grapes? Well, if you crush a red grape, the juice is gonna be clear. Oh, but so it's sit if on. you allow it to sit with the skin and to do the fermentation with the skin, all that color, the tannin, will come out of the skin and go into the juice. I think that you should give it a go. Uh, I'll try and it. basically, you're just gonna take that out and push it down as... Oh yeah, yeah and you oh got, wow. And then eventually, it will, it will, you'll burst through down into the juice. You'll get past that top layer of yeah. grape skins. Yeah, it's bubbling. You see the, hear the bubbling? Yeah. That's the carbon Actually, dioxide. Actually, you're, you're kind of a natural at this. I think you're doing a great job. You think so? Yeah, in fact, 
I mean, why don't you just continue and um, I'm just gonna check on something, but- um, You sure? Just go ahead and carry on. Okay, if you're sure, Patrick, I mean, gosh. She's so trusting. Oh, God, this is hard work. But I'm sure it will be rewarding in the end. My little Pinot Noir grapes. <laughs> Patrick's been gone a while. He must have had something important to do. Patrick? Mr. Bryce? Boy, you must be an important guy. Well, with my shift in the fermentation room finally over, I made my way back out to the tasting room to check in with my glassmates. So I noticed your drink matches your hair. How did you pull that off? A lot of planning. Yeah. Where did you get the, is that champagne? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's all, you're so high fashion, you're wearing a <laughs> scarf. It looks like she just got off the boat from Paris. I'm just dressing the occasion of the weather. Now, to answer this question right, you get a bonus drink. This is the Riesling, okay? What is your favorite four letter word? Wine. She got it right, this wine. There you go, bonus drink, bonus. <laughs> Patrick's pure passion for wine is manifested all around you when you're at Bry's. And after a generous tasting, in you as well. So if you're looking for a romantic wine-filled rendezvous, Bry's Estate is a vineyard you need to visit. Heck, everybody here sure looks content to me.